Hi friends and welcome and thanks for joining me in today's Yoga for Beginners practice. Today is a great class to do if you're starting off in yoga or if you're just recovering from an injury and looking for a gentle, slow paced practice, this is perfect for you. All you'll need is your mat and let's go ahead and get started. So let's start in an easy seated position, just sitting nice and comfortable with one leg in front of the other. I like to place one foot on top of the other thigh to help me sit up taller. And just place your palms to open up towards the sky, opening with lots of energy, breathing in and out through the body, making sure you take deep breaths in to let lots of oxygen into the lungs. And on your next inhale, slowly open the arms out wide as you open your eyes, reaching up towards the sky, palms together, and take your palms in front of your heart. And again, inhale, open up, stretch the arms and the shoulders as you look up, taking your palms together, and exhale down to your heart. Taking your left hand towards the left side of your body, begin to reach your right arm up and over your head to stretch towards the left side. And to really open and lift through the chest even more, try to see if you can look up towards that top arm here, feeling into the right side of your body, getting a nice stretch, lengthening that side. Take a deep breath in and out. Just breathing in relaxing shoulders down away from the ears one more inhale and exhale releasing the breath on your next inhale begin to walk your hands forward in front of you taking a seated forward fold now making sure that you keep your sit bones grounded on the mat and just rest your arms your hands on top of the mat or in front of you, lengthening your back, getting a nice upper body stretch. Take a deep breath in and exhale, let your chest melt deeper to the mat. And again, inhale, exhale, let it all go. Inhale, start to walk your hands to the right side now, taking your right hand towards the right side of your body and lift the left arm up over the head, stretch it towards the right side and start to just slowly turn your body to face up towards the sky, lifting through the chest, helping to deepen the stretch and lengthen the left side of your body, keeping that left sit bone grounded here. This should feel really good for your body. Taking one deep breath in. Exhale, going even deeper, relaxing the shoulders. And again, breathe in. And exhale, releasing it out. Inhales, coming back to center. Taking one stretch as we open up here with lots of oxygen into the lungs. And exhale, taking your hands to your heart. Go ahead and swing your legs back into a tabletop position. Inhale as you drop the back dropping the belly, I'm sorry, into a cow. And exhale, tuck your toes and shift your weight back into downward facing dog. Keeping the knees bent here so you get a nice stretch through your back. We're going to move through this a couple times as we inhale, dropping the belly, arching the back into a cow, opening the chest. And exhale, keeping the knees bent as you push your weight back, downward dog with the knees bent. And again, moving with the breath. Inhale, arching the back, knees on the mat. And exhale, lift the knees, push the weight back, stretch it out. That's it, keep moving. Inhale, drop the knees, stretch the chest and the belly. And exhale, tuck your chin to your chest as you push your weight back, downward facing dog. Now see if you'd like to extend your knees one at a time here getting a nice stretch through the back of your calves and your hamstrings. If it feels like too much resistance, too much restriction, keep the knees bent. 
Otherwise, just slowly walk it out, bringing the heel closer to the mat each time you extend the leg. Just breathing here. Deep inhala inhalation and exhalation out of the body. Good, now go ahead and drop your knees. Knees together, thighs together. Sit the, the hips back to your heels and walk your hands forward until you rest your forehead on your mat. Let your hips fall all the way back so you can feel your heels touching your butt cheeks. And your hands are as far forward as possible as you keep those hips down. Getting a nice stretch in your back, keeping you nice and calm and supported here. Then on your next inhale, we're gonna shift forward onto our belly. We're gonna do some baby cobra waves, which is good for warming up the spine, lubricating our back and our spine. So your hands are next to your rib cage here or next to your chest. Keep them nice and supported next to your rib cage with your hands and your wrists. And just inhale, lift through the chest, keeping your belly on your mat. And exhale, your head comes forward in line with your neck. Inhale as you lift, open up the chest. And exhale, coming forward. You can reposition your hands if you need to move them a little bit forward. Shoulders down away from the ears as you lift open. And exhale, come forward. Inhale, lift, open the chest. Last one here. And exhale, coming forward. Good, dropping your forehead to your mat. Bend your left leg, reaching your left heel to your left glute, grabbing your left foot with your left hand. Just pull that left heel closer to your glute here, getting a nice quadricep stretch. This is really great if you do a lot of running. It should feel nice on the quads, on the thighs. And let's take a half bow pose here to really open the chest and the shoulders. So what you'll do is just reach your right arm forward and see if you can pick up that left knee off the mat and lift up the chest. So we're in a half bow pose here. Looking forward, taking a deep breath in. Exhale out and slowly release the arm. Release the leg if it's up and rest your forehead back on the mat. Great job. And we do the other side. So bend the right heel into the right glute, squeezing it in, feeling a nice stretch through the top of your thigh and through the quadricep. Imagining the breath moving through that right leg. And when you're ready, go ahead, lift your head up as you stretch your left arm forward. See if you can come into that half bow pose on the other side, each side is different, just by slightly Lifting the right leg up, left arm up. Your chest is nice and open, looking forward here. You're strengthening your back muscles. Deep breath in and out. Breathe. Slowly release the arm. Release the leg if it's up. Placing your hands next to your rib cage. And push back into your child's pose. Stretch it out. Breathing in and breathing out. On your next inhale, shift forward, tabletop position. Tuck your toes and shift back into downward facing dog. Go ahead and walk your feet all the way to the front of your mat. Nice and slow here. Hip distance apart with your feet. Halfway lengthen your back, flat. You're looking towards the ground. And exhale, fold all the way down. You can grab your big toes, you can grab your ankles, or perhaps just grab the back of your knees. Take a slight bend in your knees, and just breathing in your standing forward fold, helping to loosen the lower back, lengthen out the spine, just releasing the body here, releasing the upper body, and slowly rolling up letting your head come all the way, or being last as you come all the way up. And roll the shoulders down away from the ears. 
Inhale, let's open the arms nice and slow as we take a deep breath into the lungs and exhale, leading with your heart as you fold all the way down. Inhale as you halfway lengthen, flat back. And exhale, let's step our right foot back, dropping the back knee, low lunge. Option to place your hands on top of your left thigh, helping to open that right hip flexor even more. Or another option is you can try to reach for the sky with your arms. Whatever feels good for you, you can keep the back toes tucked as well, like mine, or you can untuck them like I just did. Whatever feels good, just make sure that you have a diagonal line in that back leg so you really feel the stretch. And your top leg, your knee is directly over your ankle. Reaching for the sky if your arms are up here. Just breathing in and out, opening deep through the hip flexors. Increasing the flexibility in our hips and our spine. Good, and then slowly hands come down. Stretch your leg, extending it into half split. You can replace your hands just along each side of the calf. And you'll just inhale as you lift through the chest. And then you'll exhale and fold down. So your right hip should be directly over your right knee. Your front foot is flexed to help get a deeper stretch underneath that leg. So this is really great if you do have any leg cramps. If you are a runner, this is a great runner stretch. It should feel really good. It helps prepare for a full split as well. And releases the lower back. So just breathe, really feel into this, holding this posture. Letting your body melt closer, your chest melting closer with every exhale. Taking one more deep breath in this pose. Exhale, let the breath out. Good, and then shifting forward back into low lunge. Your right hand stays down, left arm reaches up towards the sky. So we're in a low lunge twist, stacking that left arm directly over the right, feeling that opening in the left side of your body. Breathing in and out, letting that top arm open with every breath even more. And then what you'll do is find your balance. Your left arm can face straight back behind you. Lift your body up, right arm comes forward, and you're just looking back behind you towards that left hand. So you're in a twist here, twisting from the belly button, cleaning the digestive system opening the chest and the shoulders one more deep breath in exhale let it out and slowly reposition your body to face forward exhale hands come down tuck the back toes stepping back into plank position drop the knees and we'll come down in a modified chaturanga letting your chest come down and then your chin inhale open the back baby cobra and exhale sit the hips back to your heels child's pose taking one deep breath to rest exhale release let the hips sink back even more and slowly shift the body forward tabletop position tuck your toes push the weight back downward facing dog let's walk our feet to the front of our mat Standing forward, fold, hip distance apart. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, fold it down so the top of your head is pointing towards the mat. Bend your knees and inhale, slowly rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Relax the shoulders down away from the ears. And inhale, open the arms nice and wide. Take a deep breath into the lungs. And exhale, let's fold forward and lead with the heart coming all the way down, standing forward fold. Inhale as you halfway lengthen. And exhale, let's take it to the other side as we step the left foot back now, low lunge. And just knowing the options that you have, placing your hands on top of your right thigh. You can use this for a little assistance if you keep your hands on your thigh to help push the left hip forward, 
right hip back. So we square the hips, getting a deep stretch now through that left hip flexor. So make sure you feel the stretch. Your back leg should be in that diagonal. Also taking a look at mine here, making sure we're not too forward. You wanna really feel into that left hip flexor. Feel free to reach the arms up. See if you can find your balance here. As you keep your shoulders down, relax. Opening the hands with your fingers spread nice apart here. So you're bringing in lots of energy into those hands. Feeling that stretch, that opening in the chest. And then exhale, hands come down. Stretch that front leg, half split. Your front foot is flexed, so your right toes are pointing up towards the sky, so that front leg is active. And your back toes, you can keep them tucked or release them. Just make sure that left hip is over the left knee. Inhale as you lift, open your heart, and exhale, fold down. So eventually, with practice, as you release the muscles, you'll be able to come more down. So just making sure that you breathe. This should feel good through the back of that right leg. Letting your body have patience and feel into the stretch, giving yourself what it needs. One more breath in. Exhale, release it all. And inhale, coming forward into low lunge. Your left hand stays down, right arm comes up. So you're stacking the right arm directly over your left. Low lunge twist. Feeling that nice opening throughout your right side body. And looking up towards the sky will help to create an opening, lengthening through that side even more here. Breathing in. Exhale, letting it out. And slowly taking that right arm back, follow the gaze with your hand here. And lift your front arm up so your arms are in line as your left arm faces forward, right fingertips facing towards the back. Getting a nice twist here. And just breathing through this. Relaxing the shoulders, allowing your body to open more into this position. The more your body resists, the more it needs it. Slowly release, arms back up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down. Tuck your back toes and lift that back knee up. Stepping back into plank position. Drop your knees so they're in a diagonal and a modified plank. And you're gonna come down, use the strength of your arms. Your chest will come down first and then your chin. Inhale as you open up your heart, baby cobra. And exhale, sit back, child's pose, taking your knees as wide as your mat now. As you open your hips, rest your forehead on your mat and stretch it out. Feeling that nice opening in your hips. Breathing deep. One more breath in, inhale. Exhale. And slowly walking your hands up to your body. Closing off today's practice, just how we started in an easy position at the center or top of your mat. Get nice and comfortable. Sit tall with the spine. Imagine yourself growing taller from the base, the root of your spine, up to the crown of your head and pulling you taller, lengthening the body. And as you inhale, open the arms nice and wide. Breathe in lots of air, lots of oxygen. Exhale, hands down to your heart as your palms stay glued together. And then again, inhale, open, breathing in deep. 
and exhale, taking your hands to your heart in Samastiti, thanking yourself for taking this beginner, gentle, simple yoga practice for yourself. I hope you enjoyed it and subscribe to Yana Yoga to stay up to date. Keep practicing, sending my love and light. Namaste.